Hey guys, how are you doing tonight? Or this morning? Whenever I upload this, I don't know. But today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about some updates in my life and uh, what's going on. So first I'd like to talk about uh, my channel's growth. Now I'm just going to pop up my channel on the screen. You'll notice that I have 574 subscribers. And um, I want to do, let's see, there's this website that uh, allows you to see kind of your Social Blade stuff. It's Yeah, it's called Social Blade and you can see some different things that about your channel. So anyway, here's my channel. I don't know, um, recently in my about I put a bunch of names that people try to look up and I don't know if that's the difference, but yeah. Look, I've got 181 subscribers in the last 30 days. That's 417.1% more of the usual rate that I get. That's 400 times, no, four times more. So thank you guys so much for clicking that subscribe button and watching my videos. Also, I got, th I got three times more views for the last 30 days, which is pretty crazy. And I'm ranked at a C plus. I used to be a C and I took up um, I took up a little rank, so I think that's really cool. It knows that I'm gaming. I actually created my channel in 14, so uh, that back then I wasn't really doing anything much though. I got 190 uploads, a lot. Um, I feel like, man, we got we got some good stuff going on. All right, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the growth that this channel's been taking, and that's what I just wanted to talk about for that. Now on to some other stuff, um, I, I talk a lot about getting a new keyboard, I'm always like, I'm gonna get a new keyboard, I'm always getting a new keyboard, but yeah, anyway, what, what what's going on with that is, I actually might be serious now, cause I'm always like, yeah, I'm, pff, I'm gonna get a new keyboard, pff. but it's always like, I gotta figure out which one, gotta figure out which one is good, gotta do research, research, reviews, unboxings, everything, I, I just gotta figure it out, cause before I wanna make a purchase of something I'm gonna be using for a long time, um, I, I want to know, and I mean, I wasn't just gonna pay like a hundred dollars out of my own money just just for a keyboard in general. Like, like I don't think I would do that. I, I don't think I would just spend money all of a sudden on something like that. But I actually something came up where it it, it gave me a good opportunity to buy a keyboard. So basically, if you, you guys don't know, some of you maybe if you're like if you're one of my school friends, but. Um, I'm going into high school, and so I'm going to be a freshman uh, this year in September, and that's really exciting. I'm going to Essex Tech uh, Technical High School. I'm going to focus on IT and stuff, and that's going to be really fun, because then I can advance some things I do with the computer and stuff, because, you know, I do gaming, and I work with my computer a lot. My computer, it's very nice. I, I really like it. I think it was a very good purchase. And so, yeah, anyway, my grandma came up to me, and she was like, what do you want for your graduation? I was like, hmm, well, you know, I have wanted a keyboard for a while now. So I did a lot of research, and then everyone was saying how they like the Razer Black Widow Chroma, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's really cool. So I looked it up, and I thought it was really neat, but I did see some flaws. Like, I, I couldn't live with that little flaw where the indicators of cap locks and stuff, I couldn't live with that. So I had to trash that. I, I know it was such a small little thing, but I, I, I really... I couldn't live with that. But then, but then, I found the Black Widow Chroma V2. And I was like, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, look at you, fabulous. Wait a minute! I don't want I don't want to pay $140 for a keyboard. So, you know, even even with Prime, like instead of $170, $140, that's that's still kind of a lot. I'm I'm not willing to spend that much. So anyway. I did some more looking, and then I found the Ornata, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, even, you look just like the other one, but, but beautiful, and oh, only $90, okay, okay, so I, I found that a lot better, the only flaw I really found with this one was the typing noise was a little bit annoying, but honestly, every time I listen to it, I get a little bit more used to it, so I think that'll be fine. So yeah, that's keyboards. I hope that I get that keyboard. I'll do an unboxing video on that most likely, but yeah, that's that's really interesting. I'm very excited about that. So anyway, moving on to a next topic. The next subject is actually about Roblox. Now, um, basically what happened is, you know, I did the video on Flood Escape 2 and I thought it was really cool. This is a place where people can test their submitted maps. So I, I went to the game and 
I played it and I thought it was really cool and I said I should totally make a map for this and so that's that's actually exactly what I did. So I was so excited to jump on into making this map because I really wanted it to be in. So I made the map and then I sent it to him and I said, here's the map, blah, 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 blah. I hope this gets accepted. I'm not sure if it, if I did everything right, but I, I hope I did. And then, so uh, I waited for a while. I waited for a while and let's see, um, I don't, so I got this, I got this in, I got this on June 1st. And I wrote it, so two days later, he says, map needs to be for sale. And I was like, oh shoot, I didn't make the map for sale. What am I gonna do? So anyway, I made it for sale. And then, um, and then, uh, it, it was quite a while after that. And then he finally took the map. Oh, wait, no, 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 actually he didn't. He didn't, um, I, like, it. I waited nine days. I waited a week, more than a week, and I was like, and I was getting antsy, I was like, oh, is he accepting maps? Did I make this map for nothing? And I said, hi, I just want to reset my map, because it's been a while and I didn't see you take it. Have you stopped taking them? Just in case, I'm sending another message. Here's the map. And, uh, so he responded really nicely. He said, hey, I'm still accepting maps. So I've just been back to new, moving to my new home. And so basically then, what I did is, uh, oh yeah. I, I, f oh yeah, I forgot to include this. I said I fixed the intro and made the model free, so here's the map. Because I did a bunch of testing with it, and it was really fun. And, um, I said, oh awesome, have fun in your new, I said, I said, oh awesome, have fun in your new house. And so then, that was, uh, June 14th. And now, 15 days later, I said, sorry, I'm sending Sony message. I'm just really excited and curious. Because, he never responded if like I got the map in or I, I didn't get the map so I was really confused. When do we find out if our map has been accepted? Will we know also if it's been declined and why? Anyway, I tested on the server and it worked out some bugs and made improvements. So if you tested the map the minute you took the model, could you test it again? So I'm being kind of pushy or pest, but I'm really pumped. So anyway, what I, just, what I did is I made the map and it was all really, really great. And so, yeah, and, and I think my map is pretty good. And he hasn't, uh, he hasn't, he hasn't taken it, and I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of just like, why? Well, no, he has taken it, but he has, he hasn't said anything about it. And I, I really want to, I really want to do something about this, so, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this for you. If there's, like, a, not a good frame rate or something on this, I'm sorry, it's because I'm in, I'm in screen, screen recording mode, so I don't know how this this really works because it hasn't been going so well so i'm gonna load up the map here and i'm gonna show you guys the map and you can give me your opinion on it what you think i should change or what you like about it or if you think it's 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 good in the game so um it's loaded up it's what it, it's called acid baths and it's a hard map it's called it's the difficulty is hard and so yeah i'm gonna play it right now for you so here it comes this is the map and basically what you gotta do is first you come over to these little platforms, hit this button, go back. So it's, I tried to make it going back and forth cause that's what I've seen a lot of the maps do. You have to like, you, it's not just hitting buttons and going forward, it's hitting buttons going backwards and then going forward. So I'm actually not doing too good cause the acid has already hit me. So that's not great. But I've done this level loads of times and stuff. I'm probably gonna die actually. So. You go back and forth and back and forth. And then I'm hitting this button here. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's why it's hard. Because, like, if you've never done the map before, it can be very difficult. So, I don't know how many tries it's going to take me to beat this map. But we'll see what happens. So, let's hope that this one is the one where I win. And otherwise, I'll just cut to the one where I do. So, we left off about here. And I'm going to hit this button now. I think I think I'm I think I'm going well with my time. Uh oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. So anyway, then you go jump on these trusses. Oh, I didn't even need the trusses. Then you come up here, hit this button, and then you go here, climb up this, and by now the water is turned into lava. The water turns into acid, which turns into lava. I, I wanted to incorporate the all the three uh, stuff so now it's at the very very top and then finally we made it 
Oh, that was a voice crack. So that's um, my map for Flood Escape 2. Tell me what you guys think in the comments and stuff. And I think that wraps it up for some updates that I have. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good, good, goodbye!